Hello lovely butterfly, welcome to this channel on Monday, week 177. I have the first tools that I want to use at the ready, so I'm starting with some hard modeling paste from Golden which I will use over my Driving Me Circle stencil. And to colorize the modeling paste, I'm using the XL charcoal blocks from Derwent. Thoroughly mixing the color in the modeling paste to avoid having any white modeling paste. I really want it to be colorized. And to make sure that I have enough color, that the color is um, intense enough, I'm also adding a drop of charcoal finish paint and then just scraping it over my stencil. You came into my life like a sweet embrace, swept me off my feet and made me whole again. You came in my life. As I want to repeat this in different areas of the spread, I need to make sure that first of all the modeling paste on the paper is dry before putting down my stencil again, and also that my stencil is cleaned in between every time I move it around. Otherwise, I will just smudge the paper. So there was a lot of cleaning involved for these first steps on this spread. Well, I thought I knew what life was all about, that song had already I still want to repeat this pattern, but I also want to create a difference. So I'm just switching to the smaller Driving Me Circle stencil and then just moving on in the same way. Like a sweet embrace, swept me off my feet and made me whole again. You came in my life, I want to see. I still wanted to finish that last piece of layering the modeling paste, but what I had on my craft sheet was really starting to dry up, so I had to give up at some point. And then again, cleaning. I took out a couple of colors from the Neo Colors 2, and then just scribbling around on the paper, combining and mixing the several colors. You came in my life. I want to see And now for the fun part, I can start blending those with water. I've been breaking through the day, but I've been picking up the pieces so we can remake us again. Take what you
To intensify certain areas, I took out matching colors in the Distress Sprays, applied it with a paintbrush and then played around with water to move it and blend it again. Lately I've been all about creating dreamy effects on my spread and today is no different so I took out some chalky finish wide and then using a baby wipe I'm gently rubbing it in at the edges of the spread working towards the middle but not going all the way to the middle because I still want to have intenser colors at the center of the spread. I see something shimmering in your eyes. I took out two colors of the Distress Inks, again matching uh, the colors that I have on the spread, and my How Shall I Put It words stamp set. So I'm just stamping random little words here and there in the circles to add some interest to the spread, mixing up the colors. Of course I'm also adding my numbers, this time in black, because I want those to stand out just a bit more. The quote I selected for this stamp is also one of my uh, how shall I put it stamp set and it says be quiet I'm listening to myself. Just stamping it with black archival ink at the base of the spread. I took out my Butterfly Whispers Mixed Media stickers selecting uh, one of the uh, Alad stickers sheets that would match the spread and Alad means a layer a day which is my art channeling challenge. And then also a die cut, which is also one of the Butterfly Whispers series, which matches the stamp. And that will save me some cutting time. 
I inked it up with Archival Ink, realizing just in time that I was using the wrong ink because I wanted to colorize it using my Copic markers and Archival Ink does not do well with Copic markers because it reacts to the alcohol. So instead I re-inked it with Memento Ink and then stamping this way allows me to see exactly where it is I'm stamping on the die cut. I didn't want any white this time, so normally the die cut has this little edge, this little wide edge, so I'm trimming even that because I didn't want any white on my die cut this time. And now I can simply colorize it with my Copic markers and I picked out a couple of colors that would work well with the spread, repeating the rusty color and the turquoise. When we were younger, oh, when we were younger, I remember a girl, I would sneak into a parent's house. I could stay for hours and we looked into each other's eyes Hey, I thought I was wrong, yo, I was looking for my Juliet And as soon as I left, I told my friends Those days made me who I am when we were young We had each other, oh, everything was black and white Driving in a car, never knowing how far we go When we were younger, oh, when we were younger I took out this piece of cambric which I colorized in last week's Journal on Monday video, remember, with the leftover paint that I mixed for something else. And as you can see, it turned out just beautifully rusted. This makes me so happy. <laughs> um, and then to make it pop a little bit more from the spread, I'm combining it with a piece of white cambric. And the big difference between cambric and regular gauze is that it has this um, rectangle structure and it really keeps its shape even if you pull it in all directions it will just always keep those little rectangles visible I decided to add this circle to it but cut it in half so that I could have it in two different spaces. Asking me every higher power. And as I have a whole bunch of matching stickers, I can also use this one to repeat the color and pattern on top of the cambric. I also have these small little circles which I can use again to have a repeat of the color and to add extra interest to the spread. I wasn't sure what to add that big one. I knew that I wanted to add somewhere. Yeah, that would work. But I've been picking up the pieces So we can remake us again Take what you need from me Go when you go home Take what you need to feel at home 
I ran the focal point through the sewing machine without the dragonfly, of course. Just the two pieces of cambric and the top sticker. And now that I know where I want to have what, I can just start assembling everything. This is just regular decoupage glue. I'm tracing the little stickers with a charcoal pencil so that I can add some shading, but my cambric needed some help to stay in place. That's why my left hand is just pushing everything down. And then just blending with a blending stump. Take what you need to heal, to grow. I'm waking up my white Pasca pen. This is a very fine one, just to add some details here and there to add some dimension to uh, my focal point and to my quote. I'm taking a thicker uh, Pasca pen, still a white one, to add some splatters to the spread and then doing the same thing with a black one. I really like those kind of splatters. They're really intense, highly pigmented, uh, yet completely matte and that is what I really like. That's it for today's spread. I hope it inspires you to create some dreamy art channeling. Don't forget to put down a layer a day. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit the little bell to receive notifications from new videos. See you back here next time. Butterfly kisses.